hey everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing really well if you're new here hello i'm happy if you're not new here welcome back we're gonna do a lovely day in the life today and we're gonna do a bit of a reset day in the life so what i do to reset if you like i actually put a poll on my instagram when i was on holiday last week saying what type of videos do you want to see and i started doing polls and one of them was day in the life or week in like weekly vlogs and day in the life was like whoop weekly vlog was like there so i was like okay we'll start doing them instead then yeah and do you know what i actually think it's gonna be better doing daily vlog like not daily vlogs day in the life than it is my weekly vlogs because i feel like i don't know it just gives me the option of vlogging on a day i actually have stuff to do rather than just vlogging everything and anything and everything um so yeah day in the life it's <laughs> um just for a little bit i might do a few weekly vlogs we'll just we'll see what where the where the youtube life takes me but no, today we're doing a daily little vlog, a little reset vlog. Basically, I was on holiday last week in Portugal and I do need to put a disclaimer out about this. I know for all my videos I've been saying, we've got the Portugal vlogs, we've got the pack with me's. Basically, the pack with me never happened. It was actually planned to happen, but I stayed at Charlie's a week before it. And I just, to be fair, I just completely forgot to film the pack with me. And then I was on holiday going, I'm sure I'm meant to be putting a video up. And then I was like, oh, we didn't film it. So that was completely my fault. The Portugal vlog, now this is one that I'm really unsure about, I need to edit and see. I didn't vlog that much, like everything I vlogged was very much me telling you what we've just done, so we just defeated the object. So I'm not too sure if there's going to be a Portugal vlog or not. Like I, I don't know because I don't want to put out a rubbish vlog. We had an absolutely amazing holiday, like it was a great holiday and we enjoyed it. But I didn't vlog anything because we just didn't do anything, like everything was just by the pool. I didn't want to vlog other people by the pool. Oh, we were eating then we went out for in the evening we went out with these parents so i didn't really want to vlog that and then the only thing we did like despite that is we went on a big walk which i did vlog a little bit of and then a water park which I couldn't have my camera so it was just very much like there wasn't much to vlog that would be interesting for you guys so that's why there was no portugal vlog um so i don't know if there's going to be one uploaded i really don't know and probably if i'm being completely honest probably not um, if you do want to see some portugal behind the scenes and what happened in Portugal and everything like that head over to my Instagram because there is a high there's a Portugal highlight on there so you can go and have a little browse through what we actually did through my Instagram stories um but anyway today's a reset day I'm actually back to work tomorrow it's Monday today back to work tomorrow on the Tuesday and I just want to get everything back to normal we landed on Saturday night Sunday yesterday I did unpack so everything has been unpacked but nothing has been put away other than clothes so clothes have gone away I've got two wash baskets full that need doing I've not put any of like my toiletries away my bedroom's a complete tip all that's for vintage that needs sorting just everything we've not had a few chop yet so we need to do that I want to go to run this morning hence the attire literally just so much to do today because I just want to reset ready before I go to work I know that I'm probably not going to get all of that done today like vintage probably going to be another day sort of job but really hoping to sort of get something done with that um because it is annoying me in that corner like it just feels so cramped and we all know I'd, i hate a messy room but right now it's a bomb site so basically today's just a whole reset into getting everything ready and back to normal before i go to work tomorrow so i thought we could vlog thought we could do a little day in the life of a reset sort of day and it's not even a complete reset day where i'm gonna deep clean and like an aesthetic casey gibbs reset day which i love i actually really want to do some of them because i actually do do them in my own time i just don't vlog them today is more of a like literally a house sort out like get our lives back together um so it's currently i'm gonna use my ipad to tell you the time but it's currently 9 44 in the morning i was really aiming to be on my, on my run at 9 a.m don't know why I don't know why I thought that was going to happen. It really was not going to happen. So waking up at a, like a normal time, there was no way it was going to happen. Um, and also I forgot to charge my Fitbit. So now I'm just waiting for my Fitbit to charge up. I'm completely ready to go. I'm ready and raring to go. But I need to wait for my Fitbit to charge itself up. So yeah, that is a little plan of action for today and today's vlog. And it was going to take long as literally everything I do. And this potential that I might treat myself to an iced caramel latte when I come out, shouldn't do. It defeats the object going on the run. Um, but I haven't had one in two weeks. And like when I was away, they didn't sell them. So I'm kind of craving one at this point. So I might treat myself to one because I do have some money left over from Portugal as well. So I think I'm probably gonna treat myself. But anyway, it's really bad weather as well. So I need to actually put something else on because my gym wear, I'm literally just wearing, it's not my bed. Wearing the shorts from Primark and then the sports brush from Glow Mode. I absolutely love this sports bra. And then I'm just going to chuck on this as well. 
from Primark as I added layer because it is a bit cold and it is a bit rainy and don't want to catch cold but I don't like running in leggings I've decided I obviously will when it gets colder I will run in leggings but I just feel like I just feel like suffocated when I run fully but I've got this at least got the extra layer and I've got the option to have it open to have short I love these jackets they're so body sculpted and it's like amazing but oh, it just brings you in but yeah Primark attire <laughs> Primark and glow mode attire is on like I probably won't have it like that do you know what I mean I don't know I don't know we'll see when I'm running how I end up um but yeah enjoy the vlog well that was a fail see the snake sorry look how soggy I am sorry look at the weather it was normal weather and I'm running running away doing my thing and bump heavens open and when I said heavens opened like no this is this is no joke it was no joke I was like halfway through my first two point five I was about a mile in maybe just over a mile in to my run right which is nothing and then all of a sudden take that the heavens opened so then I was like okay I used to go back to the car I was trying to like I was like oh it's fine I carry on <coughs> kept running a bit and they just were pouring and I was like no this is bad like, it's about to thunder and lightning at this point like it's bad and I'm under a load of trees so I was like okay I need to get back now I hate the rain it's something I've always hated since being a kid like the torrential rain petrifies me I'm driving in this now because that's not I'm not looking forward to it but obviously I'm then stuck and I'm like oh my god I'm gonna have to go back so I had to run back to my car and I had to run past people I'd just run past and they were like laughing I was laughing because they were walking the dogs and we were all just getting absolutely drenched got back to my car and I had to sit on my coat I'm absolutely soaked my back seat so if I've got to go out in my car later which I do then I'm just gonna get soaked again but I'm gonna go get my coffee because you know what I want it so much and even though I did just do my run I mean I did like a mile and maybe just probably just over a mile I've done really just over a mile which is absolutely nothing but I don't even care at this point it is this just this weather is awful so we're gonna go back we're gonna get a coffee and start up at home I wasn't even gonna wash my hair today but now I'm gonna have to but I don't want to wash it till I get in the bath tonight I'm obviously gonna have a shower when I get home but now I'm like we kind of need to wash it but then I can't dry it because I've, my room's a mess so it's just I don't really know what I'm meant to do I don't really know what I'm meant to do I don't know I don't know what I'm meant to do let's go get a coffee and reassess life I secured I am so excited about this. The weather is still not okay. I'm so excited to drink this though, even though it's cold, but you know what? I've been craving it. Got my mum a latte, and I just pick up myself a cinnamon as well, as well because you know what? I've not had a food trap yet halfway, so. I just, this is from the water side, right? Look how annoying this is. This one nail in the middle. We went down a water side on mats, and it like rubbed off onto my nail. Like, I don't really understand how it happened. But anyway, so I'm gonna head home now, eat that, drink that get myself sorted i'm literally freezing like i'm shivering it is so cold like what on earth we are officially in winter like what is going on i meant to do a few checks this afternoon and right now we're not feeling the future with this weather to be honest because it's freezing so it's gonna have to be like track to sort of vibe later on i think it's cold very cold a shower and a quick turn around later i say quick turn around it actually wasn't a quick turn around at all but a shower and a spill of a coffee down the tracksuit later, we're off to Sainsbury's for a food shop. It's currently, I've took my watch off, what time is it? Quarter to one. I've dawdled this morning. I've not done anything that I said I needed to do yet. Um, I've been trying to do a bit of a food plan. I just couldn't think for the life of me of anything that I wanted to get for food. <laughs> but we've done it, we've got a list, and I'm just gonna head to Sainsbury's now because I just thought if I could get that, but I'm gonna have to drive safely. If I can do that and get it done, then I can literally spend the rest of the day in my bedroom sorting everything out. So I was like, this is the one thing that has to be done of going out. And I can also get something for my lunch. So it just made more sense to do this. Um, so yeah, let's head to Sainsbury's. That's the next thing on the list. Back from the food shop, and this is the state of the room. So we've got vintage stuff over there, which is on the back burner, but I really want to get it done. But it's definitely not going to be done today. There's no way on earth. But maybe I can make it look a little bit neater. I don't really know. Could put all that in another suitcase. So I've got two suitcases. I don't know. Pajamas for tonight. I'm so excited to wear these. I'll show you in a bit. But these are actually brand new from Shein because I had a Shein parcel through, which I need to film a video for, but I'm not at all the way through yet. But I am going to wear these tonight because they look so cozy and comfy, and I'm so excited about them. 
Um, so I've got all that. Obviously, parcels down there. My bed's got a few bits and bobs on it. I need to get rid of my bin. It's going to sound gross, but it is gross. Like, the entire... It, it just needs to go. I need to get a new one. Like, it's just past point of no return. So I'm going to get rid of my bin. And I need to put to be in at some point this week. Maybe after work tomorrow to get a new bin. These need to sort all this out. Make everything a bit neater. The desk. This is just... This is something. This is actually something. So this is where I'm going to start because this is obviously like the bulk of like the messiness. Um, I'm just going to start here and then I've also got stuff. I don't want to let it focus on the outside. I'm not really focusing but I don't want to show my whole house. Um, but yeah, I've got all that as well. Yeah, I'm going to start on my desk. I had a nightmare, right? I'm talking a little bit quiet and my mum is actually in bed. Um, she's not very well but I had a nightmare. I don't even know if it's going to pick up on camera. Maybe it will. But basically, if you see a load of stains all over my tracksuit, I spilt my coffee down it. It's my lounge tracksuit, right? It's actually a nice, expensive tracksuit. Spilt coffee down it. And then I then went and picked up spring onions in the shop. I mean, they must have brushed them against me. I don't know. But like the whole of here just went a nice, lovely brown colour. It was lovely. Had to water as I like that. So that's fun. Anyway, that makes me go downstairs. I get so overwhelmed at this point. I really like, I'm at the point in my bedroom where I'm actually just overwhelmed. I actually unpacked yesterday, so everything's been unpacked, if you like. It's just actually putting everything away. But when your room's do, like, all cluttered and just needs a good sort out, it gets really, really overwhelming. Um, these are for tonight. Um, what are you? These go away. New wardrobe. I found on my top shelf I've made like a box of like travel stuff so like stuff like this just goes in that box away for when I go on holiday because I just had stuff a bit everywhere. Really random but I feel like you guys might be interested. Oh I need to move that box of tampons. It's not really a vibe to have in the back of the video is it? Um, I got gifted by Ramonda and I'm on their PR, like, PR list which is just insane. It is so pinch me. I've had been on there like the past maybe four or five months, I don't really know what it is. But anyway, they sent me just before I went on holiday, so start of September, a load of lip glosses. Oh my God, they are insane. I'll show you these ones for now. So I've got a baby pink one, which is just in a bag somewhere. Then I've got this like darker pink one, but it's really, really nice and pigmented. Like this is probably my favorite one. Um, Cause it's not like Barbie pink, but it's pigmented. Then we have a clear one, which we all love a clear gloss. And then I've also got a red one. So if I do red lip, I've got a nice red gloss to go on top. So really, really nice. And they sent me all four of them gifted, which is just incredible. So thank you so much to Rimmel. Um, not that any of them are going to be watching this, but still. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on because we could ramble for days here, couldn't I? My bed's got my weight as well. I feel like I'm just moving everything from my desk to my bed, though. Right, new old friend needs to come set a table. What are you? You're over the bin, there over the bin. I need a bin bag, 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 I need a bin bag. Bin bags. Really aiming today for this vlog to look a bit more presentable, but it just didn't happen. The weather just didn't have that plan. Like I was thinking, right, I'll get back from my run, have my shower, I'll make myself look nice. And then when I was on my run and it was freezing, because obviously the heavens opened, as you will have seen, and I got soaking. My hair's still not even dry. But I didn't wash it because I think I briefly mentioned I'm going to have like a big bath like later and like really pamper myself. So I was like, I'm going to wash my hair tonight. So I've just had to like slick it back. And I was like, this just was not the plan. Even the tracks, it wasn't the plan. I was like, I'm going to wear some jeans and a cute jumper. But no, it was raining. And when it's raining, I don't like wearing like woolly jumpers. They just, they just don't go well with rain. Like if it's raining, I'm just going to throw a tracksuit on to be quite honest because I'd rather that. I'd rather my tracksuits get soaking wet than a woolly jumper because they just don't dry the same. Long drawer. I need to actually go through all these drawers. Maybe I should do a separate video, like, and organise with me because the state of these drawers... Let me show you. Like, I'm sorry. Have you seen the state of that? Like, what? Sorry, what? What is... What? <laughs> I'm like, that's not actually too bad for me. That's makeup, but... Yeah, this drawer is just horrendous and so is this one and then this one won't close because there's something jammed behind like the rooms the room's really a tip it really is quite something isn't it i'm just a bit overwhelmed to be quite honest i've got too much stuff but anyway, it's something i actually like doing though you know when you do like a seasonal declutter and recess 
and to fail the army autumn now so do you know what that could be one of my next videos i'm gonna do a little seasonal declutter because i do tend to do that every like season i get change change it around in my room i declutter it to get rid of everything right that's there there for the bathroom okay she's back she's back we're gonna have a flickery light i don't want this i don't want the flickery light why has it got a flicker? Why has it got to flicker? There we go. Right, so I've cleared my desk. My bed's still got a few bits on. I need to find... The problem with it right now is I've got these sheen parcels that obviously need filming, but because I'm still waiting on extra for it, I can't film them yet, which is fine, like, not an issue. I'm going to shoot what I can on Wednesday on my day off. But I don't know where to put these parcels right now because I have three parcels and usually I've just sort of dumped my parcels in that corner, but now that corner's full of vintage. And you know when you just feel so overwhelmed that my bedroom feels so messy and it's sort of sending me a little bit like trying to live the aesthetic life do you know what i mean right now it ain't happening like, my bedroom is not aesthetic and it's winding me up which i know first world problems i know um but the girlies get it the girlies get what i'm going on about and i don't really know what to do about it like i'm just just feeling a little bit overwhelmed today i'm feeling a bit you know, you just feel like grotty and a bit like, like my skin's breaking out. It's really like uneven and I just feel like, oh, and then my hair needs washing and I just feel a bit mingy. Like I know that after my bath, I'm going to feel like a new woman. I'm going to feel so much better right now. I just feel like rubbish. But I also think coming back on my period, like TMI, I'm sorry for the boyfriends in the back, but my periods at the minute are just everywhere. I've had like three in the past month and a half. Like they're not good. They're not good. I need to go get it sorted out. And it's just annoying because I think that's having such a big toll on me at the minute because it's just con like it's just draining. Like the girls get it. When you're in your period, you're drained. So when it's a constant period, it's constantly draining. Um, I'm really trying to fight past it. Like I'm trying to do the positivity fight past it moment. But you know when it's just not happening. That's the day, and I'm sort of annoyed that it's the day that I'm vlogging because I really want this vlog to be like upbeat and like boom, 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 and aesthetic. And it's just it's just not, and it's really stressing me out. It's really stressing me out that it's not aesthetic. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I'm watching Katie Gibbs at the minute. I absolutely love Katie Gibbs. She literally lives the aesthetic life that I want to live. So I'm watching her at the minute. I'm watching her vlog. I'm 25 minutes into the 40 minute vlog. The bedroom's pretty tidy. I just, I don't know what to do about that winter stuff. There's just nowhere for it. There's absolutely nowhere for it. And don't, I just, I just don't know what to do about it. Okay, she got herself out of a rut. I didn't actually. Charlie got me out of the rut. He rang me and he was like, go, move, get up. So... Literally, sometimes all you need is just that one person to like tell you to move and you do it. Um, so anyway, I'm currently sat sorting out this. I'm literally just emptying this bag into piles because what I'm thinking of doing is putting it all in another suitcase. So I've got two suitcases and I'm going to pop them maybe in the garage and want to like persuade my stepdad to like let me put it all in there. Because if it's in suitcases, then it'll be fine, right? I think, but then maybe is that going to get damp? Should we risk it? I really don't know. But this suitcase here, but I haven't actually photographed anything in this one, I don't think. So that's the issue we've currently got, is that I still have to photograph a lot. So I don't want to, like... Stuff that I haven't photographed, I don't want to put in the garage because then it's just not going to get done. Like, I need to spend time doing that. So I feel like it's going to have to be, like, tomorrow evening plan. I don't know. I need to, like, plan that. But at least if I can put everything that has been photographed in a separate place, then it's out of my bedroom, at least sort of like tick that job off <laughs> i don't know i shouldn't be doing it like this but here we are um i need like storage boxes i need like i just need a i just need my own house i just i just need my own house that is just what i need i just need my own place if i own my own house and i just have a room dedicated to like social media and then one corner of it i'll just be like drawers for vintage honestly i could literally have a whole pop-up shop with my clothes right now like molly may's just on her maybe pop-up shop like i could literally have that whole shop for my clothes that i'm selling like there's so many hi here we go cooking with harley i've never done any cooking on my channel so here we are we're cooking hunter's chicken tonight so i thought i'm gonna take you along because it's part of the reset when i actually eat some good food today so basically i'm just gonna talk you through what you actually need say good food i really don't know if it's good food i'm using the air fryer and the oven and the hob it's a messy one it's a messy dish um but basically you need two chicken breasts sorry if you don't like raw meat but two chicken breasts 
well one per person i'm cooking for two people one per person so you need a chicken breast and then you need bacon so you need two per chicken breast as well or you can just use one it depends you definitely need your barbecue sauce this is what makes it hunter's chicken and your cheese i've just got the cathedral city grated cheese i've got grated one i was just being lazy then to go with it we are going to have some mini potato chips these are freezer ones they're not healthy it could make it healthy by making it myself but we move and then we've got some carrots and parsnips to have with it and we're going to make them honey glazed as well do i have honey yes i do so you need honey to make honey glazed parsnips and carrots so the way i'm going to do them is i'll show you a minute but i'm going to boil them first then i'm going to put them in the oven with a bit of like glaze on it just before everything's about to be done so first things first let's put a few of these on your tray because these will probably take about 20 minutes say 20 minutes yeah 20 to 25 minutes so it'll probably take just about 20 minutes which is perfect time because our chicken will take about that as well so i'm just going to pop some of these onto the tray in the air fryer i'm going to take out like this which is this i have taken out to use just this bit of the air fryer so I don't touch anything to do with this i'm just gonna put the chicken in two little bits there because i'm using barbecue sauce as well it will get messy in there so taking this out is definitely a good call just so anyone that's wondering or using air fryer knows so that is that okay so just put my chicken in the air fryer hi right, chicken's in loud i'm gonna chuck our potatoes in as well they don't need any salt they've probably already got enough in them brown on the surfaces stick across the side my parsnips and my carrots in the pan and then I'm going to transfer them into here and honey glaze them. I've just got carrot peelings in there, I need to wash that out. But yeah, um, I'm going to grab pans, transfer that to there when they're done. I'll honey glaze them and put them in the oven. In the oven I've got my potatoes going on and then currently the air fryer. It's got five minutes left until I need to add my bacon on. So everything's going to plan. Then we literally just have these at the end, which is probably the best bit of it really. Um, but yeah, everything's going to plan. I'm going to load the dishwasher now of everything that I don't need so that we're tidying up as we go. If you don't like raw meat, look away now. Uh, but this is what you do next. So I've now wrapped my chicken in the bacon. So these have had 10 minutes in the oven already, in the air fryer already, the chicken. So I've now wrapped it in two pieces of the bacon and I'm going to pop it back in the air fryer. Twist this to air fry. Ooh. Put this down to five minutes. I'm going to do five minutes each side. So this is... What you do put it going two and start that'll start cooking that and then i think i'm gonna have to now transfer these they're not completely boiled through yet though so i don't really have to do about that um but transfer these into there put the honey on and chuck them in the oven so this makes the space in there as well see dish so we've come from the air fryer where we've caused absolute chaos over to here we put the barbecue sauce on and the cheese and i'm about to put it in the oven i'm going to take out the potatoes just leave them a minute while this just does its thing and then i'm going to chuck the potatoes back in and then we should be done okay now the evening routine is going to commence we're going to make ourselves a little nice little routine and thought we'll vlog it because that's basically this vlog's just been a bit of a random day in the life it's really not a day in the life it's, today's just not been what i ever do in a day so there's more actual day in life coming this is more of just a little reset um non-aesthetic reset may i add um yeah, I made the hunter chicken and I just realised I was watching the footage back. I didn't even vlog the actual chicken when it was done. Actually, don't think my brain's in the chat. Um, but I did make the hunter chicken. It was absolutely gorgeous. I would tend to make again. And it was super easy. Like that recipe I sort of gave you briefly. It is the easiest thing to make ever. Like it literally done in like half an hour and it was so tasty. Um but obviously you need time to actually be cooking in the kitchen like you can't just put it in the oven and leave it for half an hour and then go do whatever you need to do like you have to be in the kitchen but anyway i'm now running a bath we're gonna have a nice hot bath i've not had a bath in two weeks i've obviously had showers but i've not had a bath and you guys know me and my bath are like we love each other you know and i'm gonna watch gilmore girls as well on my ipad very oh very very autumnal and then get out the bath i'm gonna put my new fresh pjs on which are ready for me there light a candle make my room cozy and this bit will be aesthetic <laughs> um i've really wanted some chocolate strawberries but i didn't buy any i have the chocolate but i don't have the strawberries and i really want chocolate strawberries but i obviously can't have them i will but yeah we're gonna have a bath i'm gonna do some skincare because my skin is just breaking out like i said i briefly touched on it before but like the hormones are really hormoning at the minute love that for being a girl 
I just had the most gorgeous bath in history. Like, oh my god, do you know you have a bath and you actually just feel so fresh? Like, that is me right now. I've cleansed, I've done my skincare, feeling. I do need to put a bit of moisturizer because I've not done moisturizer yet, so that's why my skin's not glowing. But we've cleansed, we've put serum on, we're like, we're doing good. The hair's soaking, obviously, if we've washed it. But these pyjamas, I need to show you these pyjamas. Okay, the light is not very sethy, but these pyjamas, I'm sorry, I'm obsessed. Like, look how nice they are. So they've got a nice little pocket, they're like black and white stripes with black hearts on them. They're like a really nice, like, cotton material. Like, you know what that, like, linen cotton sort of feel? They're like that. The pants. Oh, it's up with some blue plant. Don't get my feet in it. Again, ignore the mess of the floor, but, like, they're just so perfect. Like, the way they fall is perfect. Love it. I actually just love it. I love it when things just feel nice and new and cosy and aesthetic pyjamas is my thing for this year. I've actually said to myself that I don't want to buy pyjamas unless they're uh, aesthetic or they're like extremely comfortable. That is the only way I'm buying them because I really want to have nice cute pyjamas. If you feel nice, I feel like you automatically, just automatically like better if you feel nice. Like I say sometimes I've got underwear as well. Like if you wear, if you wear a nice underwear every day or like not even nice underwear, but just like matching sets, it's supposed to make your like mental state better as a girl it's like a hormone thing i don't even know i've read it somewhere it definitely is true as well but i feel like it's the same with like pajamas like if you go to bed feeling nice and you wake up and you put on something that makes you feel nice because like i don't necessarily sleep in pajamas like this now i'll wear it while chill then i'll go to bed in my underwear and then i'll wake up and i'll pop these back on and i'll have a cup of tea and it's just meant to make you feel like that girl when you feel like that girl you will show up as that girl like it's such a thing and it's now my thing for like the end of this year i'm becoming that basic girl i'm really i'm being the basic girl um where should i put you should i put you on here hold on let's have a let's have a chit chat wow she's looking red hey drink i'm so dehydrated right now what feels good is it's literally like 10 past eight yeah 10 past eight and i'm back i've washed my hair i'm in my pajamas this is so rare water never felt so it's so hot. I don't know about anyone else, but if I'm having a bath, it has to be scoldery and like scorching hot. Or I don't want it. Like, end of. It's just, yeah, I have to come out of it looking like a cherry tomato. Or it wasn't a good bath. Like, I do scold myself. It's really bad, really. Brush my hair. I do need to dry it, but I might let it just air dry. I know it's really bad for you, but I really can't bother to air dry it. Because whilst I was on holiday, I literally washed my hair every day and i know it's bad for your hair but the chlorine it needed just needed washing so obviously i've got bleach in my hair as well because i get it highlighted oh that's not a vibe is it but yeah because obviously i have bleach in my hair from getting it highlighted the chlorine and the bleach obviously mixes so i washed it every night so that my hair didn't go green and obviously because it just felt a bit minging after the pool um and obviously that means I dry it, dried it every night and you know you're just a bit sick of drying your hair. Um, so considering how early it is, it means that by the time I go to bed my hair will be dry so I won't be sleeping on wet hair. If I was going to bed straight away now I'd have had to dry it because number one I don't like sleeping with wet hair anyway, it makes me feel all so overstimulated. But second of all, it's really bad for your hair to sleep with it wet because it snaps it. Um, and I mean, I'm no advocate. I literally sleep with my hair in a bun every night, which will obviously snap my hair. So I'm no advocate when I'm saying, oh, sleeping with your hair wet will make it snap. Like, honestly, it probably makes no difference to my hair at this point. Um, but also, I can't put it up if it's wet as well. That was a very long thing just to find like, an air dry, wasn't it? One thing I want to do is get into a proper nighttime and morning routine, like evening and morning routine but i feel like it's so hard it's just motivation it really is just motivation like once i'm back in the swing of being at home it'll probably like become a thing and i always find as much as i always say oh i'm such a summer girl like i want summer and i want all this and i'm, I'm gonna be so motivated i come to life in the autumn like i really do like in terms of i don't know how to word it i'm so i'm a summer and an autumn girl and there's no in between but i also love christmas like I don't really know how to explain it, but 
when it comes to social media oh my god i'm so cherry red when it comes to social media and when it comes to like feeling comfy and getting in routines and stuff people always say that they that happens for them more and motivation in the summer i am complete opposite like complete opposite in the summer i always say it when it's like when it gets to like april and i'm fed up of winter i always say like oh i can't wait for summer i'm gonna be so motivated and i'll get loads of content done and like the sun it'll make my pictures better do what i heck like no i do not i don't know who i'm trying to kid every single year when i say that i am such an autumn fashion girl like i just yeah i love the summer months the sun and the warmth and feeling nice but oh my god the autumn fashion absolutely is my thing like i just i don't even know why i try and kid myself every year about summer because i love summer that's what i mean it's so weird i absolutely love summer and i've said that in a weekly vlog recently i love summer and i love the heat and i love like the denim shorts and i just love summer but in terms of motivation i get my motivation in the autumn and i, I don't know what it is because most people are like oh the rain it really demotivates me absolutely not it, it sends me up there like yes let me get my housework done let me get my pajamas on let me get into a cozy evening routine like i just get in such a routine because in the summer like i end up going out most nights because my friends will be at the pub because the weather's nice and when the weather's nice everyone goes out no matter the day so i just get so out of routine in the summer but then in the winter everyone's a bit more homely and i'm such a home bird as well like i'm not a going out person I do obviously go out, like, I know I'm only 19 and I sound like I'm about 27, like, I know it's not old, by the way, but, like, I'm such a home bird, like, I would much rather have a bath, watch Gilmore Girls, put on these pyjamas, do some moisturiser, do some skincare and get into bed than I would go out of an evening, like, genuinely, I'm such a homebody, um, so I'm just yeah i'm so excited to get into a routine because i know with it being these cozier months i will definitely get into a routine and it is a bit of a catch-22 i feel like because obviously like I, say, I love summer when it's light light mornings light nights i love that that's one thing i don't like about autumn winter when the clocks go back no i don't like the clocks going back because of it being dark that's where i get a bit like <sighs> like i do love autumn but i don't quite like that bit every month's catch 22 but i know full well that my social media will thrive in autumn because i know i'm manifesting it my social media will thrive in autumn because i have the motivation for it because it's all layers as well i like filming reels with layers i don't like just doing shorts and top because it's so boring like do you know summer fashion i feel like so boring because it's really really minimal and i quite like to have like a jumper jeans a trench coat a bag like I don't, you can style more and then you can wear pyjamas like this as well like in the summer you won't catch me in this do you know what i mean do you know what i mean but whilst i'm just using this thought i'd quickly show you these two things these are a godsend i'm obsessed with them so these are from superdrug um and they're the vitamin e skincare by superdrug collection so affordable like i am someone who cannot afford all this bougie skincare like well, I would love to use Bioma. I would love to use Glow Recipe. I would love to use Drunk Elephant. Can I afford it? No, I'm sorry. I can't afford that sort of product. Like, it's a bit, it's a bit pricey, especially with how fast you go through it. So, anyway, I found this moisturiser. I needed an SPF moisturiser a couple of months ago because I just jumped on the SPF hype, to be quite honest. But I wanted an SPF moisturiser and I found this one in Tube Drug and it was the vitamin E one. And this is one I now use every single morning and it's four pounds 99 like but it's actually really good like it isn't just a little cheap one from i don't know home buyings it's genuinely a good moisturizer so it's vitamin e spf 15 day cream i've been using this for months now my skin has been good it's recently broke out since i've got home but i obviously i've been using these for months so i know it's not these that broke out um but this it did change my skin in the moment because i was not moisturizing enough like at all i had really dry skin but i started using this every day and obviously it's spf which means you know you protect yourself from the sun which you need to do all the time not even just in the summer and um, yeah four pound 99 and then i was in superdrug getting a new one of these because this is a brand new one um because i'd run out of my other one and i found that they actually have a night one and i was literally saying to charlie that day i really need a night cream like i only have my daytime moisturizer and i didn't really want to use this going to bed because it does smell of sun cream um and then i found the night one so now i've got the nourishing night cream which is what i've just put on 24 hour moisturizer rich in natural vitamin e high in anti 
accident yeah just really good moisturizer so i just got to put you on the hype i was gonna say don't sell this out but realistically there's not that many people watching this to sell it out you know um but it is so good like this collection is super drug they have loads they've got like toners they've got like eye creams they've got all sorts and i want to get it all because i just love this collection so much and um, but i just thought i'd put you on the hype whilst i was doing it but anyway, I'm going to sit back a little bit and relax and I'll catch you if I do anything else in the evening. I have done absolutely nothing else since I last vlogged and it's currently half ten and I'm going to sign off and try and get some sleep or at least just sit here and relax still until I go to sleep. I don't know, probably wait for Charlie to go to bed to be fair so I can send him a nice goodnight message but um, yeah, I thought I'd end the vlog here. Been a bit of a weird one today but... I had a nice little reset. There's still a lot more to do. Maybe I'll do a part two or maybe I'll just do a normal day in the life at some point this week. I don't know. Maybe I'll vlog on my day off on Wednesday. I don't know. But I'm going to start doing more day in the lives, proper day in the lives, because this, like I said, was a reset vlog, not a day in the life. But I'm going to start doing some proper day in the life soon because, you know what, I do love vlogging. It does make me have a bit more motivation to actually get stuff done because I actually want to bring out vlogs for you guys. And I'm going to start making them good. So from now on, my promise to you guys, my pinky promise to you guys, is to start making an interesting vlog. So please come back for the next one. I promise you I'll make it interesting. Maybe do a cheeky little life update in the car. Maybe go to the shops. Actually, need to go to Primark. So I'll do it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe we'll go for cheeky little walk around home bargains on payday or something. But anyway, thank you for watching. As always, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already because there's more exciting content coming. Autumn is like when I said, autumn is when my content thrives. If if I'm gonna be big headed, autumn is when my content does thrive because I actually have motivation for it. Um so yeah, please subscribe if you're not already. Make a girly's dreams come true. And yeah, follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok. There's plenty of TikToks going out at the minute. And yeah, I should see you guys in the next video. Bye.